Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. How is everybody doing tonight? It's Thursday. It's, uh, oh, well, it was snowing a little bit here today, but hopefully um, this weekend is started, finally starting the beginning of spring. It is March 3rd today, and it is the Switch's fifth birthday, so everybody give your Nintendo Switch a nice big extra piece of cake for their birthday. Not only is it the Switch's birthday today, but today in Japan it was Hina Matsuri, which is the doll festival. So I'm going to, before we begin, I'm going to show off one of the parts of my doll collection. So you see this very tiny box? It's very tiny. What is in this very tiny box? The answer will surprise you. So what you gotta do is you open the little tiny box with this little thing and turn around what's inside and voila! We have a very small set of Hina Matsuri dolls. We've got the Emperor and the Empress on the top row, the three courtiers and the five, I think it's the three courtiers and the five musicians, I can't remember exactly, but all of them, they're wearing little um, kimonos that are little rolls of paper wrapped around a pin, they have a little top knot made out of paper. I bought this on the way up to Kiyomizudera in Kyoto about, let's see, it was 2003, so yeah, it was a very long time ago. In any case, we are going to get right on to playing Golden Sun tonight. Alright, let me know if, whoops, let me know if the frame is too small and it looks like it is so let me do some little adjusting here there we go and there we go Oh, good, I didn't need to um, do anything about the controls. So, where we last left our party, they had just departed from Wayard on their journey into the, well, Wayard, um, Vale, onto their journey to the rest of Wayard in order to find the miscreants who kidnapped Jenna and Creighton and took three of the four elemental stars from them. Ow! Right back at ya! So it looks like we've come to our first new town. We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We return to Calais immediately. Master Hammett, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? This is awful. How are we going to get to Calais now? Master Hammond, I'm worried about leaving Ash behind. As fond as I am of Ash, it is his fault my rod was stolen. And his strange powers will aid him in search of the rod. What's this about a rod? Ash has strange powers? Ooh. 
We must leave this treacherous place immediately. But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Lunpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? Okay, so we are now in the village of Vault. How very creative. Welcome to Vault, the town at the heart of Angera. Wasn't the eruption of Mount Aleph incredible? Uh, it looks like we are just in one step behind the, um... One step behind, um, Sagitt... Uh... What are their names? It's, um... Fiery rock burnt a hole in the roof. Sheets, it's always me that has to take care of these things. Ah, uh, I know that feeling. My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. Hey, mister, is it fun to see strange new places? When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. Well, so you want to be a laid-back camper, huh? So what is everybody up to this weekend? I am not sure what I'm going to be doing. Yay, money! Hello, MJD82. I'm kind of hoping that I can um, take advantage of some good weather and go do something fun. I uh, might be dealing with some rain. Ah. If only these rocks were gems, we'd be wealthy. Ooh, I wonder what this rock is. This rock was blown here all the way from the volcano. It looks odd, doesn't it? It sparkles so much, it looks like a gem. Money! Is it just me, or am I missing something? Ever since the eruption, Grandpa keeps wondering if anything was stolen. He doesn't realize we don't even have anything worth stealing. Well, you never know. One man's trash.
right, so we've got ourselves some new armor. I guess some folks got robbed during the chaos of the volcanic eruption. Master Hammett's servant can't return to Calais until he recovers the rod. Oh my, there is a jail here. My husband, the mayor, can't believe anyone from Vault could be the thief. But unless we find who stole the rod, Ash can't return home to Calais. Could someone please help Ash? Ash has great powers. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? No way, it's our secret. I could help Ash if I were just a little older. Yes, I... I do possess strange powers. You have them too, don't you? What? My power? It's called synergy? I had no idea. We have so much in common, I feel I can trust you with this. I am quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... <laughs> Sam and Red. I am Ash. Pleased to meet you. That is Ivan. My ability to read people's minds frightens you, doesn't it? <laughs> Am I really... Is my mind read so frightening? No, not really. Just impolite. Ash and Sam clasped their hands together. Ah, my mind! Stop reading my mind, Ash! So, Sam, could you read Red's mind? Just as I thought. What? You read my mind too, Sam? I guess that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not fair to read one way. Ash and Red clasped their hands together. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind, Sam. Let's use mind read to find the thieves. Wait a second, won't people know that we're using Mind Read? Oh, I see. You too can tell when I am using Synergy? Sam, both you and Red are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your minds. Ordinary people can't see anything. There's nothing to worry about. Don't worry, I will not read your minds again. And now we have a new party member that is a mind reader. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to set mind read to the L button. And this way I will be able to do some mind reading. These guys look reliable, I guess. Ash is pretty lucky. So now I can read the innermost thoughts of everybody. <laughs> so it looks like it's not just the rod that has shown has shown up missing.
So we've got a lead on where everybody is going. Looks like they're on to us. We'd better leave town as soon as possible. Oh, I think we found our thieves. Ruff, ruff. Stealing in the midst of a volcanic eruption, humans value money more than they value their own lives. What a very wise dog. So three people at the inn, huh? Yeah, but the animals can't really talk back, I don't think. Oh, what have we here? leaving? I'm still worried about the rod, so I'll just wait here until you two return. Welcome back, you two. Let's go find the rod. Okay, so... We need to get over there to that cave. And we need to figure out who's at the inn. That's got everybody so freaked out. Everyone thinks our guests are the thieves, but I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, but they've been quite polite. And they paid cash. So it looks like the guests at this inn are possibly the thieves. But possibly not. Ooh, got a mint! What do you want? It looks like that weird kid is with them. I can't stand him. Don't let him near me. Oh, wonderful. Great, now we're playing keep away? You're acting suspicious. Something's not right. But you can't use Mind Read if they keep running away, can you? Isn't there any way I can catch them? Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. Don't worry, this is going to work. Sam, you take the lead. <laughs> Ooh, 
Wh what is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? Are you done, Ash? What did you learn, Ash? It's them, all right. I think they took a lot of other things, too. It looks like they're hiding it all somewhere in this inn. But they won't let me near them again. Then I guess we have no other choice. We have to search the inn. Leave it to us. Sam always comes through. Dot, dot, dot. I trust your sense of duty. All right, so now we have to look around the inn. No, leave me alone. Ow, stop it. So they're gonna be all keepy away -y. He should be fixing the roof now, but I can't find him anywhere. He's probably in back slacking off again. Where is that guy? Oh, what is this? Sam cut him free from the ropes. I came into this loft while I was fixing the roof. But I found I couldn't get all the way to the back of the loft, so I was looking into it when WHAM! Someone whacked me in the head from behind. When I came to, I was all tied up. Strange, I don't remember all these crates being up here before. Maybe all that stolen stuff is in these crates. Looks like we've been found out. You're pretty persistent for one of Hammett's whelps, kids. Why are you working so hard for Hammett? What's it to you? Anyway, Hammett's already been caught by a worse bunch of thieves than us. I hear Hammett fled to Lunpa after the eruption. Did you say Lunpa? A man with Master's Hammett's money shouldn't go anywhere near Lunpa! What kind of place is Lunpa? The town was named after its founder, Lunpa, the noble thief. That family of thieves remained noble even when his son Donpa took over. But Donpa's son, Dodonpa, is an evil thief. Why does the name Dodonpa sound so familiar? Is this, um... Is that, is that from Dragon Ball Z? The man has no morals. I've heard he's truly vicious. See? We're not so bad. How about it? Will you let us go? Hell to the no? What? You mean, even if we return everything we stole and apologize, it's still a crime? You must be joking. We stole this stuff fair and square. We'll just have to keep you quiet. And there's only one way to do that. Get him! All right.
All right, let's go all out. They, they got us. Actually, for a second there, I thought we were goners. Wow, we won! I, I'll get the mayor. After all the trouble we went to, stealing all this stuff. Haven't you heard? Stealing from others is wrong. Sheesh, I told you. I told you we should have skipped down. Evil never prevails. If you give me Master Hammett's rod, I'll head to Lunpa now. What will you two be doing, Sam? I suppose we have to go after Vince and the others. Uh, Vince is Felix. He's reading our minds again. Shouldn't we stop him? Eh, you're all friends now. If you say so. I see, so that's what happened. These are the thieves, Mayor. What did you did was horrid. Stealing in the middle of a disaster? Hey, you're the ones who left all your doors open. You were practically begging us to- Ouch! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. What should we do with them? We're going to lock them up for a long, long time. Hey, wake up. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Hey, can you help me tie them up? Hey, you, Sam Wright. I won't forget this. Take them away. Take them away, toys! Thank you for catching the thieves. You have our sincerest gratitude. Really, you were a big help. Let's take a look at what they stole. Found the mayor's precious urn. Mayor, isn't that your family's urn? My precious urn has been returned. It rhymes. Found a gold statue. Hey, that belongs in the- They stole from our sanctum? Those monsters? The town's treasures, they're back at last. Mayor, we found another chest over here, you see? Ash, isn't this what you were looking for? Now you can return to Master Hammett. That's right, I heard that Master Hammett was seen heading towards Lunpa. Oh no, Dodonpa wouldn't miss an opportunity like that. I'm certain that your master has been kidnapped. How can I rescue Master Hammett? No one can enter once the gates are closed. What will happen to Master Hammett? Calm down, Ash. Master Hammett is probably still alive and unharmed. Uh, return, Ed. Thanks. Dodonpa knows that he can use Hammett to extort a ransom from Calais. We can't do much until Dodonpa makes his move. But at least we know Hammett's safe, for now. Your name is Sam, right? And you are... It's Red. Thank you both, you have my deepest gratitude. Well, let's go then. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Before you leave town, please come see me. I have something for you.
What a mess. We finally get the rod back, and now this. I wish I could cheer you up. You look so depressed. I just want to rescue Master Hammett. That's all. But I couldn't ask you two to help me. You have a very important mission, right? That's right, I saw it in your minds. I had no idea the volcano's eruption held such a secret. Yes, we have to find Felix and his gang or we'll all be in trouble. Then I suppose this is goodbye then. No, it's not goodbye. Sam said he would help you, Ash. No, you've already done so much for me, I couldn't impose on you any further. Ash got the Shaman's Rod. I shall never forget this town's hospitality. I wish you all the best. Well, I guess we'd better get moving too. Let's do a quick stay in the inn first. <sighs> oh, excuse me again. Sam got a bone. I have a lot of leftover bones from dinner. Here, do you want some? Really, take as many as you want. You were such a great help, Sam. Allow us to show you our gratitude like we promised. Sam got some water of life. Sam gave some water of life to me. Are you heading out beyond Goma Range behind by any chance? Look for a cave in the mountains of the Goma Range, northeast of us. Once you've passed it, you'll reach Bilibin. If only we had escaped the cave northeast of Goma Range. Shut your yaps! They got us this time, but next time, oh, they'll pay for this. At last, I knew we should have skipped town sooner. Thank you for the other day. Are you leaving town already? I'll be praying for your safety. Ruff, ruff. Let's give him a bone. Let's 
see what else we need to do. Looks like we gotta head out this way. One thing I do want to do though is I gotta get some weapons upgraded, so let's see what we got. Alright, so Red has the bandit sword. I believe this is Vale. Ah, this is Lunpa. It sounds so merry. What's with you? You want to enter Lunpa? Well, you can't. Go back to where you came from. You're not from Calais, are you? Uh, no. The last group said the same thing, but we didn't trust them either. Leave now if you don't want to get hurt. So here is that cave that everybody was talking about. So it looks like we probably won't be able to do anything over here right now.
so that is broken. I guess that must be the cave that they were talking about. Guma Cave. It's no use. Our synergy isn't strong enough to free that stump. Oh, look who's here! You want to move the stump, right? It looks like it's trapped in the ivy. Isn't there anything we can do? I know! I have a great idea. Leave it to me. All right, Ash. I did it. Thanks for the help, but why are you here, Ash? I couldn't get into Lunpa. Don't get me wrong, I didn't come here to ask for your help. Your quest has been on my mind ever since I left Vault. Remember, I read everything that happened in your minds. I couldn't just leave, not with all these terrible things happening. If I can't rescue Master Hammett, then I want to help you. Please, allow me to join your quest. And we've got another new party member. Same as the old party member. Secret cave.
actually, you know what? I think we need to head back to Vault. Because I saw a djinn hiding there. Let's see if we can get that gin. Oh. Doesn't look like we can do it. I think we might have to revisit this place after we're done in a different point. I think I seem to recall, like, we have to have another one of the, uh, Synergy powers in order to find the secret passage. All right, I am going to get everybody cured and then I need to take a quick break and grab some refreshments. So I will be right back.
come back. Wow, right into battle. It's a uh, blackberry spindrift that I'm drinking right now. Did you see something strange over there? I fought it, but it fled. When it returned, I saw it again. I wonder if it likes this place. do anything here. Ow! Oh man, I need to heal.
A lucky metal. Okay, so now what? Ah! Snap, we are in a battle with a Mars Ginny. So we have defeated our first new Ginny, and it's a Mars Ginny, so I am going to equip it to red. You got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Exposition. Fortunate. All right, and we are out of the cave and into what? It's a tree, but it almost looks like a man. Help me! Somebody! Welcome to Bilibin. Please, just ignore that strange tree out front. Many brave warriors have been sent to Kalima. Travelers needn't worry. You guys are so unlucky arriving in Bilibin at such a scary time. Ooh, Lady McCoy's foolishness. The snow is already piling up in Emil, and the weather is freezing. If I were you, I'd wait until spring to go there. We rarely see any snow around Bilibin. It must be difficult to live in a snowy town. I think I'll just see, stay here. Oh, somebody wants to go see another new potential party member. McCoy had the trees cut down so he could build his wife a grand palace. 
Ah, Lady McCoy. I would just love to be her. Will I ever live in a lovely palace? That tree at the entrance is really a man cursed by the sacred tree. So, we've got deforestation and a curse. Something changed. You can't reach Kolima, no matter how you try. sound you heard it right yes I can't hear anything over the growling of my stomach I'm dizzy with hunger ah that's it I just want to scream with hunger but I still have to smile boy it's tough being a businessman So there is apparently a tree that gives curses. People are stuck here. Start cooking already! I just love how in this game they just have chef sprites. And you can't get to the ovens. I can't check to see what they're making. Aww. I've heard songs that tell of ancient trees developing strange powers. Maybe that power is what caused the curse! It has been said that a fairy named Tret lives inside the holy tree. I hear a large group crossed over Goma Range, heading towards Emil. Ever since that man turned into a tree, everyone has been too scared to go near the town's entrance. I know the guy who turned into the tree. I remember his clothes. So apparently there's big trouble down in Little Colima. Have you tried sitting heading southeast from here? No. The road is blocked so you might as well not even bother. I heard they put a massive barricade up. What is up this way? McCoy's Palace. Oh, gee. It's got the whole um, grand um, classical music vibe going here. Are 
you telling me that I'm responsible for this? Sure, I had them cut the tree down so I could build my palace. But if anyone is a victim, it's me. I've been waiting for my palace for months. If all this trouble is caused by the sacred tree, then all we have to do is cut the tree down. So we are going to volunteer ourselves to help out Lord McCoy. an elixir. Uh, so it looks like they don't really have that much faith in us. They're all like, oh, what do we have to lose? Seems the tr curse of the tree has not yet come to Bilibin. Kalima Forest used to be so green. Once the holy tree was cut down, everything began to turn brown. Is Kalima Forest dying? What do you think? These are Bilibin's great treasures. Whoever ends the curse can claim these as his own. There's a sheet of paper titled Sweetie's Gifts. It's the list of gifts Lord McCoy has bought his wife. It's pretty long. This is the ladies' room. Milady was renowned far and wide for her beauty. That's why my lord is so anxious to please her, regardless of cost. Ah, she wants a fairy tale prince. Oh, someday I want to sleep in a silk nightgown like this. Oh no, this nightgown has a hole. My lady will be furious. I like swords. Welcome to Corneria. I like swords. What's the matter then? Sir, some new warriors have just arrived in the palace. 
New warriors, you say? We've sent many a man into Kalima Forest, but not a one has returned. These warriors, did you get a look good look at them? Come closer, laddie. Hey, are these the ones you were talking about? They're but children. And you expect me to believe you can save Kolima? Uh, yeah. Hmm, well, I'll grant you a brave lot. Here, this key will get you past the barricades to the east. Even with the key, such wee lads as yourselves will never reach Kalima. He's making fun of us, calling us children. That's just irritating, don't you think, Sam? Yeah. Well, don't let him get to you. We'll just have to prove we can handle this job, whatever it is. So, you've decided to accept our little job. Hey, Ash, you... You don't look too enthusiastic. That curse can turn a man into a tree. You think we stand a chance? What? Yeah, of course we do. You know we do, right, Sam? Oh, wow, way to put me on the spot. Well, if Sam's going, I guess I'm in, too. At least we all agree on something. What troubles you, my lord? They seem willing enough. They call themselves warriors, but they're not but we children. Aye, these are desperate times, but I can ascend such wee lads to their doom. Then what will happen to Kolima Forest? We cannot give up hope on our other champions. But what about us? We cannot send you into certain doom. What if we said that we were going east anyway? You can go once things have settled down. But that means you're not going to let us go? Ack, it's for your own good, lad. Angry face! I didn't want to talk about it anymore, Captain. I'm sorry, but you should leave now. Your name was Sam? I'm sorry you were rejected. I never ever expected anything like this to happen to Billabin. Will you promise me you won't go to Kalima? No. You are persistent, aren't you? That barricade, you may not need a key. Oops, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, I'm going to go now. So, looks like we've got the next step in our journey. But first, let's stop and get ourselves equipped. Hey, Ultra Quinox, how are you doing? Oh, I see. Wrestling with good old anxiety? Oh, I'm sorry.
Yeah, I don't have the money to get anything right now. So it looks like we've got to go towards the east and to that barricade. So this must be at the Billy Bin Barricade. This area is off limits to all those without a permit. So apparently, we do not need a key. We just need our minds. They're so heavy. What is the matter, Ash? That sparkly stuff on the ground, what is it? Ah! What's happening? My mind! Someone is attacking my... That? Something's falling from the sky! It's sparkling! Could this be what turned those people into... We've got to get out of here! I can't! I can't move! Sam, what just happened to us? That barrier, did it save us? Yeah. I think so too, Sam. I think I know what those domes were. It was ARP Synergy. What are you, crazy? I didn't use any Synergy. Hey, I can stand. I can move again. Ash, it's okay. Go ahead. Stand up. Those barriers. We thought that synergy was only used when we concentrate, right? When I was training, I'd focus so hard I thought my head would burst. Well, maybe it's just easier for you, but when I use synergy... Anyway, I'm certain that was synergy that we were projecting. That must mean that some synergy acts only when it's needed. You mean like we're in danger? I think it's like when we strike critical hits in battle. We can't control it, but it's there when we need it. Very meta! I can agree with what Red is saying. It is definitely possible. Wouldn't it be something if we could use this power at any time? Yeah, let's start trying to master this power. Watch out, it's happening again. Whew. 
prune. Why? Why don't they turn into trees? Who are they? What people are these who are immune to Tret's glamour? Have they come to save that village with their strange powers? It will not be enough to save the people of Kolima. They have earned their fate. Kolima took their axes to me, and now I shall take mine to them. You children may not know this, but we are dying. And Kolima Forest will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. Tret was once a kindly forest king. But he is slowly dying and his heart has torn in two. His wrathful side turned the people of Kolima into trees. The kind Tret speaks no more. Hroom, the kindly heart invites destruction. I need no kindness. If you wish to save those whom Tret turned into trees, you must reawaken his gentle side. But if you cannot stop Tret from withering, we will all... Look for Tret deep within the forest. It's no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die and the rest of the forest will die with me. Isn't there anything we can do? Yeah. What can we do? Do you have any ideas? Yeah. It looks like Sam has something in mind. We'll leave it up to you. Let's go save everyone. So this is Kolima Forest. And now we gotta... F Let's see, where is... There's Kolima. And there's all the people. All treed. How could anyone turn a girl as beautiful as me into a tree? Actually, I'm pretty cute for a tree. This is a dream. It has to be a dream. I am old. I've lived a full life. I don't even mind being a tree. I just feel bad for all those kids who are turned into trees. I wonder what father's secret is. What will happen to my treasures if I'm stuck as a tree forever? Soon all of Kalima will be nothing but forest. Being unable to move is so inconvenient. If I can't move, then Mom can't make me go to bed. The water at my feet. Huh? Hey, it's delicious! Man, I'm stuck inside. That means I can't even become a tall tree. I used to carve weapons out of wood. Now I am wood. Life's funny like that. What are they staring at? They seem awfully young. They don't stand a chance against Tret. I dreamt that a mighty warrior with a thick beard ended this curse. I dream about him a lot, actually. So, we've got Tret and Laurel as the trees protecting the forest. At least my father wasn't the one who tried to cut down the holy tree. The holy tree of Kalima has great powers, just like father said. Money! Maybe we turned into trees because of all the trees we've cut down. We were only doing our jobs, though. Maybe if I meditate harder, I'll turn back into a man. Mm -hmm. 
うぐぐぐIf I could speak, I'd tell them this is Kolima, village of lumberjacks. How am I supposed to charge people for their rooms if I'm a tree? Who caused all this? Someone must have tried to cut down Tret. The villagers were right. I never should have tried to cut that tree down. Now I'll never see my family in Emil again. If only I'd left town a day earlier, but this room was so comfy! And one of them decided to take the coward's way out. We've got ourselves another Venus Gin. So it looks like he gets some new synergy, but loses some of the stuff that he had before, so... Yeah, one thing with um, equipping Jin in this game, if you um, equip them that are outside of your element, they actually um, can be a little bit more harmful than good. Because they'll take away some of the uh, powers that your character had by default. And that reminds me, there should be a Jupiter Jin somewhere that I can equip to um, Ivan. Excuse me. I'm going to take 
a look at the FAQ for this. see here. Oh dear. I just needed to check my um, notifications and uh, the smart doll shop had a new drop, so... I just needed to check on something. Oh, okay. So there is a um, Jin hiding in Bilibin. McCoy's Hidden Warehouse, do not enter.
All right, so now Ivan has his first gin. Do I have... Okay, 262 coins. I don't have enough money to get a new weapon. Yeah, let's just take a rest in the inn first. Alright, let's do a safety save. Alright, and we're gonna head into Colima Forest. I don't know how long it will be tonight, but I will try to um, get as far as possible in there. Since this is an emulator, I do have the advantage of save states, so I should be able to just save my process until we rejoin each other Saturday.
<laughs> Ran away. And I still remember doing this log puzzle like it was yesterday. If I didn't use that, I'd probably have to go all the way back to uh, Vault in order to get- No wait, not Vault, um... <sighs> Billabin to get resurrected. Do not touch floodgate switch. I know exactly what I'm going to do.
That didn't do anything. Sam got a fur coat. All right, so. You never finished the game because I panicked overthinking. I somehow went the wrong way in the story. I probably didn't, but I had no clue. Aw, that, that kind of sucks. It's such a wonderful duology. I, whoa. I only finished the first game. I never finished the second. So this is Laurel. Who are you? Oh, you are the ones who resisted Tret's glamour. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Tret, you were already too late. Soon, Tret will die, and we shall wither away without him. Leave now, before this forest is destroyed. Thank <laughs> you. 
dot, dot, dot. Hmm, he will not speak to you, child. I control all in Tret's realm. So it looks like Tret's nature has changed. The healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Tret, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. So it looks like we've got a mission to go on. But it looks like we're going to have to go inside Tret and find out exactly what's going on. However, it is now 10 p.m. So what will happen is we are going to give uh, somebody a raid. Alrighty then, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to raid Aeon Protect Gaming. Um, they are continuing their Pokemon Emerald Soul Lock, so. All right, so everybody, I hope you have a good rest of your night. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will see you all um, hopefully Saturday afternoon, if not Saturday night. Um, keep I'll keep you all posted if my time needs to change, because I kind of want to get out and do some stuff this weekend. So I hope you all have a good night, and we'll begin the raid in just a moment.